Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Garen Parish. Today is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. As we come together and share the Eucharist, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. <clears throat> Our gathering song will be Come In and Enter the Lord's House, to be found in your Garen Songbook number 39. Again, it's in your Garen Songbook number 39. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. As we gather here in the family's mass today, to all the children's choir, all of us who are gathered as one family, let us come to the Lord and appreciate all the love that the Lord has been has bestowed upon us, especially in the reading today. The apostle asked Jesus to increase our faith. So let us, to especially do in this Mass, ask the Lord to increase our faith so that we always draw closer to our Lord Jesus Christ in our daily lives. Let us also acknowledge our fellows, our sinfulness, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth be to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, oh God Almighty Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth be 
let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merit and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what constant dread and to what prayer does not dare to ask. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. How long, O Lord, I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you, violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and clamorous discord. Then the Lord answered me and said, write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rash one has no integrity, but the just one, because of his faith, shall live. The word of the Lord. Our response this morning is, if today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. 
For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm the sound words that you heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat, put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful that that servant became what he did, what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord, increase my faith. That's what the apostle today you know, asked Jesus to increase their faith. You know, the apostle is the one who lived with Jesus and who very close to Jesus, who also have seen Jesus, you know, did a lot of miracles and many different things. But they still ask Jesus, increase, you know, our faith. Increase my faith. I think that even the disciples, they are close to Jesus. They ask the Lord to increase their faith. I think each one of us, you know, we should do the same. I think it's maybe it's part of our prayer. Maybe in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, as you should add it in your prayer. Wake up in the morning, say, Lord, increase my faith. Because without faith, you know, we can do nothing. You know, if we don't have faith, I think it's very difficult maybe to go through the day. And if you... Read in the scripture, especially in the, the gospel, see how many you know, people came to Jesus to ask for healing. And because of faith that Jesus said, your faith has saved you. Don't be forced because of faith that people trust in the Lord. They came to Jesus. Jesus came, the man with the, the blind man. They said, because of your faith, you know, that you can see. And also, the woman with homorrhagus and for 12 years and she just touched the clothes of Jesus and Jesus because of your faith that, that you be saved. So we need the faith in our life. I mean it's easy to say that but faith is a gift from God. Faith is a gift from God. It's faith is the, not 
like we can gain or we can earn. But that's a gift from God. That's why we need to pray constantly. That's why we need to to ask the Lord to help us. It's like the apostle in today's gospel because they feel like if they don't have, don't have faith, how can you know they preach the the good news of Jesus? And thanks be to all the apostles that the church is still exists because of them. If you see how many of our ancestors of those who has gone before. Before us, because of their faith, that we learn from them, that because of their great example, I'm sure all of you, many of you are here, and you give a great example, you know, for your children. And today we have a families mass, and I really encourage you. I mean, I had my parents give me a great example of faith. I'm sure many of you who are sitting here. You know, because of the faith, that because of your parents, because of someone that really inspire you and touch you in your life, I'm sure your children will follow you. As I said before, if the father go to church, you know, every day, they said 60% of the children, you know, will practice the faith, and also the mother and the parents. So I encourage every family, if you. Gather every Sunday here to celebrate the Eucharist because we need the faith. We need to ask the Lord to increase our faith, because without faith, you know, as I said, it's very difficult to go through our lives, even through our days. I'm sure many of you who has experienced, you know, through sickness, through cancers, through family difficulties, and a lot of things going on, but because of faith that you persevere, because of faith that you are here, and when you look back. And I said, because of faith, that the Lord helped me to go through. I'm sure many of you experienced that. I remember, I still, I don't know, I told you here. I have a friend who live in California, and she got cancer. She's married, but she never, she wasn't baptized until, you know, her husband encouraged her. And when she got cancer, her husband took her to many places. Even to Lord, and she, and he said, "You need to trust in God." And that she got cancer at a young age, but she went through many difficult things. And she told me, "Said I almost died. I almost gave up." But just a miracle happened, and she survived. And she said, "Twenty years ago, from now, she feel like no cancer came back." And she was baptized, and now she's very practical. Like very practiced Catholic, she go all over the world, you know, to the pilgrimage, and she never miss any Sunday mass. And she said, "I thank God that I know the Lord, I know Jesus, and because of faith that helped me to go through." So let us reflect in our lives, and especially, I really encourage all of you, especially those the parents, give the example of great faith. Especially we pray for our younger generation today. Sometimes they lose their faith. Sometimes they don't have faith in Jesus. Sometimes they don't have a foundation. But our job, our mission, is to help them, to help our young generation, and to pray for them, to pray for the faith, to pray that the Lord will increase our faith. And as Jesus said in today's gospel, you know, if you have a faith like a mustard seed, mustard seed is very, very small seed. But if you should have faith like a mustard seed. You can do a lot of things, as he said. Even the mulberry tree, you tell them to uproot and and plant it on the sea, it will obey you. Which means Jesus tells us, if we have faith in the Lord Jesus, even we can do a smaller thing, like a servant, who should obey the master, who should do whatever the master asks them to do every day. Just a smaller thing, not the big thing, and but the Lord will make a great thing in us. Sometimes we don't see it, so let us try to do everything, the ordinary thing in our lives. We don't have to do big, but try to help others. Try to reach out to others. Try to pray every day. Try to go to church, and those small things. If we just do ordinary thing, just regularly, and I think the Lord will help us in, to increase our faith, and we do a great thing in our lives. As I said, without faith, we are nothing. And we heard this, okay, the first reading today from the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk is one who was discouraged and disappointed during that time because he said, "Lord, 
I cry for help, and you know I don't hear the response. You know I cry out violence, and you don't intervene. And he was disappointed. You know during that time, you know people of Israel who went through the difficult time. That's why Habakkuk feel like he has no more patience. But the Lord tell him, you know, be persevere, be patient. And he said, the just people, if your faith shall live, you see how the people have faith shall live. I think that the Lord exactly tell us. I know we went through a lot of difficulty in our lives through the pandemic, and now with the war in Ukraine and all kinds of things, and also in the world we live in today. And this month is a respect life month. You see how people feel like abort, well, abortion is is normal, is nothing wrong. And you see how we try to, you know, promote, you know, from the natural, from conception to natural death, which means we not only care about abortion, but we care about one another, care about the elderly, and for those who are in need. And life is important; it's precious. That's why this month we try to promote and try to be aware of that. That life is important; it's precious. Conception. Until natural death, and we live in the world today. A lot of things, violence, all things. So let us learn from Habakkuk today. Persevere in our faith, and that as the Lord said, if you have faith, you shall live. So let us continue to ask the Lord to increase our faith, especially every day when we pray, especially pray for our children, and continue to be a good example for your children. And I'm sure you will see. You know, later on, your children will see that my parents it helped me to raise in my faith, and I learned from my parents as well. Let us continue to do that, and this is a community to help us to grow together in our faith. Please let us stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was he incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Giver of Life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. We trust in our God, who knows our joys, our hope, and our fear. Let us bring our need and prayers before Him. For the visionaries and prophets of our time, may they see and write down the vision clearly, knowing that God is always on time and never fails. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in faith, faith the size of a mustard seed that will uproot evil and misery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live in abject poverty, may their cries for mercy and justice by be heeded by those in authority, leading to a more just distribution of the world's goods. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those affected by her, Hurricane Ian. Grant them strength, courage, and resolve as they deal with the storm and its aftermath. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the sick, especially those listed in our bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Gina Marie Romando, Nina Gallo, Gerald Spidali, Antonio Antonino Morisi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is Frank Pudlow, Roman and Anna Romanyak, Barbara Jerzyk, Irving and Angeline Eversten, Deacon Dennis Colgan, Bruno Damaso, Gloria Accorsi, Rogelio Paran Anniversary, James Berger, Michelle and Vincent Takao, 25th wedding anniversary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer you this day and help us always to be faithful to your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We have second collection today is for the school and religious education. Thank you for your generosity. Please join us in our offertory hymn, which can be found in your journey songbook, number 767, Let Us Go to the Altar. Again, your journey songbook, number 767. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. 
Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and why in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, to whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. So with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, all the clergy and for all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together as a family in the word that Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. 
Lord, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you; my peace I give you." Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. Now let us share some sign of peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son. But only sin saves. The word of my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, give me safe hold. For those participating in today's liturgy via live stream, please bow your heads as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Join us in our communion hymn, which can be found in your journey songbook, number 768, Gather Your People. Again, in your journey songbook, number 768. Oh, 
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consumed, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. For the announcement. Join us on Tuesday, October 4th, after the 8 a.m. Mass at St. Cyprian for Our Lady of Fatima Devotion. Father Moises' Gospel study will not be meeting this Thursday. The next meeting will be Thursday, October 13th. On Friday, October 7th, this Friday will be Holy Hour at St. Celestine's at 3 p.m. The Baby Bottle Project has returned. Please help the Women's Center by picking up a baby bottle after the Mass and fill it with your loose change. The baby bottles should be returned by October 23rd. The Alpha program is postponed until spring. The evangelization team will list new dates early next year. At the end of the Mass today, there will be a table, a ministry table. As we gather each week to encounter Jesus, we see Jesus in the Eucharist. We are called to be full, conscious, active participants in the liturgy. But there are a few roles during the Mass that we would like you to be a part of. That is the ushers. Welcome people, greeters who are at the doors to greet people as they come in. Lectors who, to, uh, lectors who proclaim God's word. Eucharistic ministers who assist in distributing the body and blood of Jesus. Altar servers. Altar servers who are adults who help out for funerals as they come in. Choir members. They're right here. They're all my parents. Their kids are singing, they're next. Ministry of Care to help with the homebound. Kim will be in the back of church. There is a form that you can fill out if you're interested in joining any of these uh, committees. Training is very, very easy. Uh, the rewards will be great in heaven, okay? Just don't look for your paycheck in the mail, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Christ. As he said, the, uh, this weekend is a ministry fair for liturgical ministry fair. You see how this is that a lot of, uh, you know, uh, fulfillment that you can help to do in the liturgy. There's a lot of things going on during the liturgy. You know, without your help, you know, we cannot fully participate. And I said today, if we have faith, but faith without practice is like a dead faith. So we, we need to put into practice and by participation, by gathering at the Eucharist and by helping one another to serve the Lord better, the Eucharist. So in the back of the church, and there's a sheet. If you don't have to fill it out today, if you think about, oh, I take it home, I reflect upon it, return, it's okay. But if you have something in mind, you can try to be as easy ways to be a greeter, to be an usher. Many of you already be an usher and Eucharistic minister and also a lector. You don't need to be a good reader to be you know. Like, I'm not very good readers, but I try my best, you know. So all of us, we can try to share to help one another, especially the Eucharist. And also this weekend, is uh, we celebrate the Feast of St. Mother Theodore Guerin, as we see the, her pictures up there with the candles. Her feast day is tomorrow, October 3rd. And if we talk about the person of faith, she's the one who gives a great example of faith. You know, she has tragedy in the family, and she came to Indiana by a few sisters with nothing, and in the call, but she persevered in her faith, and she always trusts totally in the Lord Jesus Christ, a sister of providence, you know, to trust in God. So we can learn from her. So let us ask for intercession to help us to, in, to ask the Lord to increase our faith as well. Did the children choir sing well today? Oh my God, good job. So thank you. Oh, what is it? Oh, thank you. Is that my gift? Wow, I got a gift today. Oh, that's you, right? <laughs> thank you. You see, I love, the, I love the children's choir, and thank you for all the parents for all your sacrifice, and they, you really did a good job today. I like the song, You Are, We Are the Church, right? That's beautiful. We are the church, one family, we all become one family. 
in our church today. So let us continue to encourage one another. Especially next week, we have leadership of the word for children. So bring your children back and come back and celebrate every Sunday here. So thank you and have a good week, everyone. Please stand. I can share with you the candies in the back of the church if you want. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in our closing hymn, which can be found in your Mother Guerin Psalm Book, number 19. We are called to serve. Again, in your Mother Guerin Psalm Book, number 19.